Hello, sports racers. This is Rob, one of the co-founders of Criticism, a feedback and crash reporting solution for your iOS apps. Here to show you how to integrate Criticism in less than five minutes. Are you ready? Let's go. So first things first, let's download the library. All right, so we got it over here. We'll unzip it. If you look inside, you'll find installation instructions, an example project, and the SDK. So here, let's start a new project and show you how to do it right from the beginning. The view-based project, let's call it Critter Demo. Save it here. And so all you need to do to integrate is basically drag over this SDK into your project. and say, copy the items. And then all you need to do is add two uh, libraries to it. So in this case, we need core location and quartz core. So add those two here in the build phase. Um, and then you're pretty much done. Now all you have to do is just add it to your project. So let's import the header in into your app delegate, criticism.h, and then you go back to the installation instructions and we basically just give you the line of code you need to copy and paste so let's copy it go back here into your did finish launching and say let's copy it and then we need to give it a view controller that will be used to pop up the modal dialog box in this case it will be underscore view controller so we save it and now we need to show the support form so we'll go into your view controller here import the header and then let's say it will pop up with buttons so let's create an IB action called feedback hit okay and then let's make another one for crashing so I can demo the crash reporting for you guys it's pretty awesome uh, let's say crash hit now we'll implement them in the implementation file so let's say Let's go back to the installation instructions. All you need to do is add this line of code to display the feedback form. Bam. And then let's add a, a method that doesn't exist. Please crash me. And that should throw an exception. Okay, now all we need to do is open up the nib, add the buttons and connect them to those two methods. So let's add two buttons here. One will be feedback, one will be crash. So add for the touch up inside, we'll add the feedback hit. And for the crash, we'll add the crash hit. There we go. And that's it. You've integrated it. So let's test it out. So let's build the project shows up we have our two buttons so hitting feedback pop up the uh, feedback form you can do all sorts of good stuff like adding adding up items uh, replying to items voting on items and <clears throat> it'll collect some cool diagnostic information that I'll show you in a sec and then if you crash throws a dump here and you can see it crashed so let's see what it gets you uh, I'll go to my apps demo app so if you go to the overview can see real-time refreshing upload data so that was the load that we just made uh, if you go to the forum it will show you the forum and you can reply directly and our users will see your reply the next time they open your app and if you go to crash reports you can see that the crash that we just had please crash me here shows up um, and then you can drill down into it and you can see the stack trace symbolized and you can also show diagnostics so aggregated data on the on who was using the phone when it crashed so and there's lots of other good stuff that I'll show you in the next webcast but there we go criticism in five minutes thanks for listening and email me at rob at criticism if you have any questions thanks bye